AI search isn't the future anymore. It's happening right now. And if your local business isn't optimized for it, you're about to lose customers to your competitors who are. And here's the thing, most local businesses are still optimizing for old Google ranking methods. They don't realize that ChatGPT and Google Gemini use completely different criteria. So by the end of this video, you're gonna know exactly what to do to rank on ChatGPT and Google AI before your competition does. Okay, so first off, let me just show you some stats here. 19% of consumers are already using AI tools like ChatGPT and Gemini to find local businesses. And that number is growing rapidly. And if you get in on this early, you're gonna have a massive advantage. So here's what's changed. People use the search plumber near me. Now they're asking things like, my sink is linking, how do I fix it? Or where can I find the best plumber in Hamilton? And ChatGPT and Google Gemini read all of this information, they analyze it, and they give the customer a direct answer. And a lot of times that answer includes a local business name. But the problem is most local business owners still think that Google Maps rankings are enough. They don't realize that AI has different ranking factors than traditional SEO. So they're missing out on being featured in these AI generated responses because they haven't optimized for how AI actually works. And here's the good news. Since most businesses are still sleeping on this, you can get ahead right now. This is literally a first mover advantage. Most businesses haven't optimized for AI search yet. If you get ahead now, your competition is gonna be playing catch up for months. So let's talk about how to actually do this. Okay, so here's the foundation that you need to understand. To rank on ChatGPT and Google AI, you have to first rank on traditional Google. You can't skip this step. And the reason why is because AI pulls data from Google and other authoritative sources. So if you're not visible on Google, AI isn't gonna recommend you either. It's pretty damn simple when you think about it. Now, the secret sauce here is something called topical authority. And what that means is being recognized as the expert on your topic by both Google and LLM. Let's look at an example. If you're a plumber, you don't just have a homepage that says, we do plumbing. That's not enough anymore. What you need is a page about how to fix a leaky sink, a page about what causes a clogged drain, a page about signs your water heater needs repair, and 20 other pages answering plumbing related questions your customers are actually asking. Because here's what happens, Google and LLMs scan your entire website to understand what is this business really about? So if you have just five generic service pages, AI will look at your site as another generic plumber. But if you have 50 detailed pages answering plumbing related questions, AI knows you're an authority and that difference right there determines whether AI recommends you or your competitor. So that's what we're gonna build out, the four pillars. Pillar number one, build topical authority through content. All right, so the first thing you need to do is identify what questions your customers are actually asking. And you can use Google Search Console for this or answer the public, or you can literally just ask ChatGPT. What questions do people have about plumbing? And it'll give you a massive list. So for a plumber, some examples would be, my sink won't drain, how much does a water heater replacement cost? What's the difference between a plumber and a drain cleaner? DIY plumbing versus professional plumbing. When should you call someone? And here's the mistake I see all the time. People write these short, generic 300 word articles that don't actually answer the question. AI systems need comprehensive content to understand your expertise. They need to know that you actually know what you're talking about. So when you're creating content, you wanna aim for, you know, like a thousand to 2000 words. Sometimes it can be shorter, but unless you know what you're doing, aim for about a thousand words. So if you're writing how to fix a leaky sink, you should cover the different types of leaks, what tools you need, step-by-step -step fixes, photos with those steps, when to call a professional, what cost estimates could be, prevention tips, really go into depth on it. Now, the structure that works really well is what we call a content hub. So you have a pillar page. This would be like the complete guide to plumbing, problems and solutions. And then you have cluster pages. So each cluster pages is an individual page for a specific problem. Think of this as a blog post, but they all link back to the main pillar page. And this tells Google and AI, this website owns the plumbing topic. Like you're an expert and an authority on it. So your action step here is to map out your pillar page and identify 10 to 20 cluster topics that support it and start creating these pages immediately because this is what separates you from competitors who haven't figured this out yet. Pillar number two, perfect your on-page SEO fundamentals. Okay, so once you have your content, you need to make sure your on-page SEO is actually set up correctly. And this is pretty straightforward stuff, but a lot of people still mess this up. And don't worry about messing it up, just keep watching this video. I got you. So your title tags and meta descriptions have to include the target keyword naturally. 
So for example, it would say leaky faucet repair in Hamilton, 24 seven emergency, something like that. And you would want to include your target keyword naturally in your first paragraph, your subheadings, which are also known as your heading two and heading three tags throughout your content and in your last paragraph. So here's the thing, you want to write for humans first and SEO second. Don't just stuff keywords in there. It needs to actually read well. I see a lot of people writing generic title tags or just completely ignoring them. And AI systems use these to understand what your page is about before they even read anything else. So go audit your top 10 pages right now and rewrite your title tags and meta descriptions to clearly communicate the value and include your main keyword naturally. So the other thing that you need to do is internal linking. Link every cluster page back to your pillar page and link related cluster pages to each other. Make sure that you use descriptive anchor text like learn more about professional plumbing repairs, not just click here. Because this creates a whole web of topical authority that both Google and AI can follow. And the mistake here is creating pages in isolation without internal linking. AI struggles to understand the topic connection without the clear link architecture. So create an internal linking map for your content hub. Figure out which cluster pages link to your pillar and which pages link to each other. This takes about 30 minutes and it can dramatically improve your AI visibility. Pillar number three, get online mentions and citations. So if you don't know, a citation is basically a mention of your business on another website, but it doesn't have to be a link. When AI sees your business mentioned on reputable sites, it builds trust and context. So if you're mentioned on five local business directories, Google and AI know that you're a real established business. But here's what a lot of people don't understand. Citations and mentions actually matter more for AI systems than backlinks do. AI is tracking both direct mentions and NAP consistency. And if you don't know what NAP consistency is, that's name, address, and phone number to verify that you're a legitimate, trustworthy business. So you get these by registering for local business directories. Things like Yelp, your Google Business Profile, the Better Business Bureau, and then industry specific ones like Angie's List or Home Advisor if you're a home services business. Then you want industry directories. So your local chamber of commerce, local business associations, and trade directories specific to your niche. And then you want mentions in local news and community sites. So local newspapers, community blogs, and city business websites. Now here's the mistake. If your address is spelled differently on different sites or your phone number varies, this confuses AI and it actually lowers your ranking. AI uses this consistency as a trust signal. So right now, go and claim or verify listings on the top 10 directories in your industry and make sure that your name, address, and phone number is consistent across all of that. Spend like an hour doing this, it's a really quick win. <laughs> and then we have reviews. Reviews are like citations plus social proof combined. So encourage your customers to leave reviews on your Google business profile. That's usually the most important one, but don't forget Yelp, Facebook, and any other industry specific platform that people are checking. And here's another thing, the more recent positive reviews that you have will boost your AI visibility significantly. So this isn't a one-time thing. AI systems weigh recent reviews heavily, so you need to keep asking for reviews on an ongoing basis. Make sure you set up a review generation system using email templates, follow-ups, QR codes, whatever works for you. And make sure those get sent out within 24 hours of every customer interaction. Make this automatic. Pillar number four, leverage mentions across the web. All right, so the last pillar is building your digital footprint. And the more places you're mentioned as an authority, the more AI recommends you. So AI is considering Google Maps check-ins, engagement, reviews, ratings across platforms, podcast appearances or mentions, local news features, guest posts on relevant websites, mentions in community forums and Q&A sites, all of this stuff matters. And most people are ignoring this. People treat their website as their only presence. But AI systems scan the entire internet. Your digital footprint extends far beyond your own domain. So you want a strategic digital presence. Keep your Google Maps profile active with regular posts and photos, answer questions in industry forums with your business name visible, write guest posts for local blogs or industry publications, get on a podcast or get mentioned as a local expert, pitch yourself to local news as an expert for local stories. So what I want you to do is create a plan to appear in five new places. So that could be a guest post, a podcast, an interview, a forum, a directory listing, or a news mention. Track each appearance. The goal is visibility across diverse, 
reputable platforms. And here's what AI is tracking, how often you're mentioned and where. Appearing in 10 different reputable places is way more powerful than appearing in just one place, obviously. And consistency matters over time, so that one-time mention won't be as valuable in the future as if you have a regular presence. And this isn't a one-time setup. You need to keep creating content, getting reviews, and building mentions. Your competitors who stay consistent will outrank those who don't. So build a monthly maintenance routine. It can be two to three new articles, or asking at least 10 customers for reviews, Get one or two new appearances or mentions, that could be a podcast or a local news site, and update your underperforming pages. Make this part of your regular process. Ranking on ChatGPT and Google AI isn't magic. It's a system built on these four pillars that we just went through. And the businesses that execute this right now are gonna dominate local AI search for the next two years. Your competitors are still sleeping on this opportunity. You're about to lap them if you start doing this. All right, that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.